Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you all how to access blocked websites that you normally wouldn't be able to access to because you're not in the right location or um, it's just not allowed in your location, guys. So it's pretty simple and all we're going to need for this is a VPN, also known as a virtual private network, guys. They're actually oh, bang, becoming bang. very popular these days. And um, essentially what the VPN does is it takes your current location. So let's say you live in Canada um, and your public IP address is a Canadian IP and you wanted to watch the American Netflix, which is only available to an American IP address or people that live in America, um, you could select the server in the VPN that you use um, and it will actually change, it will mask your IP address and make it look like you are in, are in America. So when you log into your Netflix account, you will be able to watch, you will have access to the American um, library of movies and TV shows on Netflix. So. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of VPNs out there, guys, but I'm going to make it easy for you guys and show you some of the ones that are very popular and actually work um, and some that I recommend, guys. So right here, we've got ExpressVPN. This is one that I recommend a lot. I've tested a lot of VPNs with Netflix, and ExpressVPN never fails me on Netflix. Shows load instantly. Movies load instantly. It's very fast, guys. And the pricing is a little bit higher, though, on the, on the scale of VPN pricing goes. Um, but it definitely is worth it. One month will run you $12.95, um, so $12.95, guys. And another VPN I also recommend is Surfshark. This one is a little bit cheaper. And the good thing about Surfshark is that you can have unlimited devices connected to it at the same time, um, whereas ExpressVPN is only five VPNs at the same time, I believe. Um, and also, I'll have some other VPNs down below, guys. I'll, I'll leave links to these coupons for these two VPNs that I showed you guys and also some other ones that you could choose from. But you know, if you watch any other VPN review video, most of the time they're always talking about the same uh, VPNs. That's because there's only a few that are really trusted, and it's maybe like 10, 15 of them. You know, we've got NordVPN, CyberGhost VPN, ExpressVPN, TorGuard, PureVPN. There's a, there's a couple that are usually always brought up frequently, and that's because they've got a good reputation. And yeah, guys, so I made it a little bit easier for you all so you can choose the right VPN and not get scammed or like choose a bad VPN that leaks your identity or it's just slow so yeah um, so let's go ahead and um, continue guys so the reason I think a VPN is very strong is because you will be able to access sites that you normally don't have access to so for example as you can see I'm on Pandora's website right now and check it out it doesn't even allow me to access the site and that is because it's West guys so as you can see, I am connected to my ExpressVPN um, and I'm connected to the Canadian server. Now, the thing is, is that Pan, uh, Pandora is not available in Canada. So the only way I would be able to bypass this is by connecting to a USA server. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And boom, I'm connected to it now, guys, and check it out. And when I do this, I'm going to be able to load into Pandora. And as you can see, that is pretty amazing. Um, let's go ahead and give it a second. Yep, check it out guys. I've loaded in 10 Pandora and normally you would not be able to do this um, If you have no VPN you would there would be no way to bypass this um, Which kind of sucks because there's probably a lot of websites here. Actually. I have, an, I have a list um, of a bunch of content This doesn't necessarily mean you can't access the website, but this is a bunch of content that is only available in America and you know, it's probably the best quant content on the site so People that are outside of America are missing out on a lot of content. As you can see, Netflix, that was my prime example, guys. You know, Netflix has a bunch of uh, different libraries for all the countries in the world. And Netflix, I mean, American Netflix probably has a lot of ones that other people don't have, such as Marvel movies, um, Scooby Doo. Um, and it also works vice versa. So other countries have stuff that American stuff might not have. For example, the Australian Netflix has all the Harry Potter movies, and American Netflix doesn't have any of them, I don't think. So. Yeah, I mean the VPN will work. It will work good in all, any scenario, guys, because you can choose your server to anything. So even if you want to access the UK Netflix, um, or if you want to access Pandora, it's that easy, guys. So that's what I'm saying. You know, VPNs are very, very um, useful in my opinion. And I think the price is definitely worth it for the stuff that you're going to be able to access. And not only that, you're going to be able to torrent safely. So download torrents. You know, there's so many cool things. But here's a list, guys. Check it out. We've got all these popular. Um, names Crunchyroll, you know, you could watch anime and, and I'm guessing that maybe the American Crunchyroll has more um, animes than other countries. So Yeah, guys, that's how you do it. I mean like that's literally it you buy your VPN So like I said guys you buy your VPN um, And here's how you know it works like it will tell your IP address if you type in what's my IP address You're gonna see that it's not no longer your home IP and that means you're connected to your VPN So, you know, you just buy your VPN um, You choose the plan 
Um, you know, you go with one that's recommended. Like I said, guys, links will be down below if you want to get some coupons and save some money. Um, so, you know, you buy your VPN, you know, you can go ahead and create your account, you know, select the payment, blah, blah, blah. You buy the VPN, you download the application on your PC. And if you want to use it on your mobile device, these VPNs have apps where you can use on your mobile device. So, you know, you once you download the application, it's very easy from there. You literally just go ahead and check out the locations. As you can see, they all have tons to choose from and you can go ahead and connect that way. And then once you connect um, whatever website you're trying to access, um, you should be able to access it now that you're in the appropriate location for that website. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Um, you know, like that's it's pretty easy, guys. Um, and yeah, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to, you know, bypass um, geographical blocks and access websites that you normally wouldn't be able to. And yeah, let me know what other videos or tutorials you guys would like me to make. And yeah, that's how you can pretty much look at a bunch of stuff on the internet with a VPN. So thank you guys all very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace out.